All right. Yeah, I said I wasn't going to probably make another one, but I am. Okay. Right, we're going to talk about battery chargers. Because I just had one, this one, to go bad. Okay. This is a manual. Manual battery charger. Had this thing for I don't know how long. And I've got one that's even older than that in there. It still works. It's probably in its 60s, maybe 70s. That one, I've only had it. I won't say 10 years. And it died on me. But it's all that new finagle stuff. Okay, see that? And of course, you know me. I found this on sale. Don't know. I, just, I hadn't even used it. I just broke it out of the box. This is a new Stanley automatic charger. I think I gave 12 bucks for it. Brand new. They were clearancing it out. Going to a new line. Here's the thing. If you're going to use this stuff, go find you one of them. That feller there has not let me down. And I'm talking about it now and it probably blow up tomorrow. But anyway, as of now, it works. And it always has. It's never let me down. That one, I figured it was going bad the way it was acting. Because it's got computer circuit board circuitry, digital, blah, blah, blah. You know, and I have dropped that one. So that's probably why it's went bad because I dropped it. Now I've dropped this one, fell out of the back of the truck. You know, crap like that, it still works. And I've had it for ever and a day. This one, I don't know. We're going to see. It has to have that smart technology. Well, we'll see how damn smart it is. Um, but it's like the wheel. They keep trying to improve upon the wheel. I don't, I don't get it. But anyhow, it don't matter. But I just want to talk to, about them a little bit. Uh, you know, I've got. You can tell I've got me a new one, and it is computerized. But yes, I got Old Faithful right here. There he is, Old Faithful. All right. And, you, and, and I missed a couple at the flea market here the other day I should have picked up. And they probably didn't work. But for five bucks, come on. You know. Um, I picked up another one for two dollars and it absolutely worked. Because these things right here, computerized stuff, it's going to go away. They're going to quit working. It always does. Computers are going to fail. If it's a computer involved in it, rest assured it's going to leave you walking someplace. Now, back to the motor. I checked those cylinders. 140 PSI. So that means that engine's good. We can work with that. Problem is we can't find power. And... Part of it, then the switch, I gotta do some adjustment. But then I got to tracing these, this, this, I don't know what you wanna call it. I got to tracing this back out through the cables and then I found these wires. So this probably turns this coil on. They're here. You see, whatever this, whatever this conglomeration of guru stuff is. Because they didn't wanna buy the, apparently the right pack, so they go to rigging it up. And uh, this is what you get into, and then this is why I guess you might want to say the stuff costs a lot of money, because you don't know what people's done to them. I mean, you just don't. I found behind behind here, behind the carburetor, I found a handful of screws, peanuts, tire valve stems, uh, caps, laying back here rolling around rebound. valves. It causes them to mess up, make you know weird shit, and they keep bringing it back, and people keep paying the same guy to work on it. And I know a guy. I think, because the boat, I can't swear by it, but every time we got a motor, a boat that he worked on from his shop, I found something in behind the carburetors. It become almost a, you know, well, where'd you have it worked on last? And they'd say, and then the first thing I do is jerk carburetors off and I'd find something in the back. So, anyhow, you do find those people. Do that stuff. But anyhow, I'm going to continue on. I'll probably have this thing running hopefully in about 30 minutes, but the way my luck goes in reality, I'll be out here all day and night trying to figure out what the heck's going on. But first, I'm going to make that adjustment. And you can see that. Them two little screws in there. i got to loosen that, drop this down, and get this out of gear. Because, see, it says neutral, but it's still hung up in gear. And uh, we're going to sort through all that. And then we're going to check these wires out and find out why it's feeding power back, you know, to the harness. And uh, anyhow, I'll go from there. So if I find anything really cool or interesting, I'll make another video.